my ethernet clock is 50 meg and my onboard clock is 100 meg so i need to get a 50 meg clock from 100 meg and the way i do that is i head over to my project and i go to my project manager here under my reset gen i have a 50 meg clock so this clock wizard ip creates for me a clock from another clock i created one by going to the ip catalog going to clocking i think it's fpga features and design clocking clocking wizard and that will get you one of these this will get you a blank one to do with as you please and so my clocking wizard is this one because i'm using board files i'm using the nexus board files it has automatically detected what clocks on the board but if yours doesn't it's okay all you need to do is just put in your input clock frequency in my case it's 100 meg and then i choose my output clock frequencies i actually have two clocks being generated here both 50 megs one is at 45 degrees phase output and that's just because the digilent user guide said to do it that way they say to generate a ethernet clock 45 degrees out of phase uh, this second clock goes off the board and the first clock stays on board and that's pretty much it it allows you to do fancy things with this and choose your own numbers and everything but 99 percent of the time i'm usually happy with what it does i usually just put in the frequency i want and it will just work it all out for me you can put multiple clocks here and it will complain so for example if i put in some arbitrary number like 77 it won't like that you see it'll say requested frequency cannot be achieved and it'll tell me what it is and the reason for that is that there's it the these settings there are divisors and multipliers within the pll if the frequencies that you want are not configurable within the ranges that are allowed then it will complain so i don't want to do that i'm going to cancel this go back to my code 